Well, uh, we're going to Todano, Tony. That's right, and this is your level, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh, yes. this I did more on this level than I've done on any other level I've ever worked on, ever. Really? Yeah, I, I, I coded half of this level. Wow, that's impressive. Lingish coded the other half. Okay. Uh, Lingish did the enemies and stuff, and I did sort of all of the non-enemy related coding. Okay. Um, I think I did a lot of the setup for these these bots. Like for example, I coded them so that they work and like gave them different outfits, and uh, the, they all just have randomly generated outfits. And these are the breakables that you can break off and launch into the sky, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, yes, you can. But they seem to take a lot of damage to get there. Oh, you gotta go by ammo. Jesus. Alright, let's get some more ammo then. Oh, and you know what? Uh, I'm gonna die on purpose after I buy ammo because I want to reset those guys. So okay. They have a. What? Oh, did you not have enough bolts to actually buy all your ammo? That's uh, awesome. Did I not? Yeah, the mini rocket tube's not filled up. Oh, that's sad. Okay, so, so a... we're watching the spectators here. Yes. Or and, the tourists. And they will come. They will come out of here forever. Uh, and uh, what we did was we set a skill point where if you kill a bunch of these guys, uh, they'll give you. Uh, I forget exactly how many it was. So if it's too if it's too many, we'll just cut this part out. You're wasting ammo that you don't have the bolts to replace. <laughs> That's good, right? That's a good, yeah, it's a good strategy, I think. Are you sure there's a skill point for this? Yes, there is. I know, I coded the skill point up. There we go. Oh, there. Yeah, after you kill a certain number, it gives you a, uh, a warning. And I think it gives you a few warnings, and then, yeah, this is going to be way too long. I still want to get the skill point, though. This is taking far longer, though, than I thought. Yeah. Good call on on working on this skill point, Mike. Oh man, I'm just not uh, firing on all cylinders tonight, man. You can play some of like the Jeopardy time wasting music here. And I think it we the original idea was that we would summon a whole bunch of enemies here and attack you if you kept doing it. Why would I spend time on this? Like, co why would I code that up? I don't know. I don't know. For all the for it's not like I didn't have enough work to do. Accusing me of wasting time on the things that I did. Is there not even a skill point? It just says the. I'm pretty sure there's no skill point. I'm pretty sure this isn't a skill point. You, and you have no money. You can't buy any more ammo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Tony, we're going to Tadano. That's right. This is a level that I did a lot on, of the wait, work on. Wait, wait, wait. Your mic's coming in. There's a lot of interference on your mic. Like what kind of interference? Like staticky, like whenever you talk. So, Tadano. That's right. This Again. is your level, if I recall. Yes. Uh... <laughs> It's totally my level. I've I did more on this level, as you probably don't know, than <laughs> any other level I've ever worked on, Tony. What what would you why did you have to do so much on this level exactly? Well, I coded a lot of stuff in this level. It was me, really? me and Lingish. And okay. I think Lingish was kind of new at the at the time. Uh, and so and I, I had the ability to code. So I sort of just got drafted into helping with... He, he did all the enemies and stuff, but I did most of the stuff in this level that isn't enemy-related. Okay, so a lot of little ambient things that are going on. Yeah, like I coded these tourists, uh, made, made them all different. Uh, you know, like they, they have random hats and clothing that appear, and when you kill them, they break into nice little... No, they don't. No. <laughs> You're just speaking too soon on everything in this level. God. Uh... uh you know what though? It's hard to uh, hard to feel bad about that because it's fucking Fourth of July right now. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? It, it is actually the Fourth of July this time. 
So those rockets are are the ones that uh, you I, you were talking about rockets that launch off when you break them. I think these are those those uh, those guys, but they seem to take a lot of damage. Yeah, man. I don't know how much you'd have to do to launch these off. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna stand around and, and hit them though. <laughs> Oh, these are the squirrels. Uh, I think I wrote some flavor text for them, but uh, I, 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 it was probably even very entertaining. But I'm not going to go look at them because I have a tendency to do this. Uh, but yeah, having them stand around, the, the you know, if I hadn't killed them all, having them stand around <laughs> and watch him as he does his little things here. I think I did all that. And these guys would pick off tourists as, as they came by. Um, the only reason I'm hanging out here is because uh, there's a, a like a skill point or a platinum bolt I can get if I follow this guy to the end. Oh, okay. Beat on that rocket, guys. Make it happen. Go! Man, it is... Uh... Oh, there, there we go. There it goes. It doesn't blast off quite necessarily, but okay. <laughs> Nothing works out, does it? So I think a, th a door opens over here. If it doesn't, you're going to look like a complete fool. <laughs> Again. Oh, oh. There you go. Platinum there bolt, you baby. So you did remember oh, something man. correct. Oh, this is not a good day for me, Tony. This is not a good day. <laughs> All right. Um, I have an interesting... Uh, so this electrolyzer uh, puzzle in particular, uh, I had to redo three times. Really? Because it was too hard. What? Why was this one harder than the other ones, necessarily? Um, you know, I just coded it to take split-second timing. I see. Uh. Yeah, I was frequently chastised on this one. And it requires that you look everywhere at the same time. I mean, yeah, it was. this was just sort of me, another case of me uh, not being willing to, uh, to make things easier because I was so hardcore at the time. Right. Oh, we got the water plane here. This water plane was kind of interesting. Uh, we don't need to look at it for me to talk to, about it, but uh, in the whole game, this is this is the only place where you're ever underneath a water plane and you are not swimming. And that may sound like a minor thing, but that was a huge problem. Uh, uh, yeah, because that's not the way ratchet water works. Yeah, how, how does ratchet water work? You well, you specify you uh, you specify a plane, and uh, well, in Ratchet and Clank, just so people know, and everybody's gonna like be, think this is crazy. It's it's a Z up game in Ratchet and Clank. All right. Uh, and uh, so you would that means that of the of the three axes X, X Y and Z, Z Z is up. Okay. And uh, you would specify a, a plane, and anything below that Z would automatically be assumed that you're underwater. So uh, you would go into swimming the minute you hit a point below the water plane, uh, and that's sort of how it would ever work. And you could never leave the water unless you rose up above the water plane. That's just sort of how ratchet water works. So to have a thing where you would have to go underneath it but not be swimming is very counter to the way everything had been set up. So we had to put in a special exception for this into, I think, I was coded into ratchet itself. It said, if you are in level 9, uh, or, <laughs> or whatever level this is, then, uh, then don't do the thing about the water. <laughs> Uh, so water in this level just wouldn't have worked even if we had it in because we specifically disabled it. I remember liking these mines a lot. Uh, I Dude, that effect? That's yeah. your last effect ever. Uh, uh, yes, that's right. I blatantly stole it and put it on those guys because... Um, which, uh, which guys are shooting that? The, the big flying torsos. Oh, oh, so you made my effect less special by just putting it randomly across other enemies. I wouldn't say randomly. It was more that I desperately, desperately needed an effect. And it didn't occur to you that maybe I tailor my effects specific to the enemies and 
work really hard to make sure it evokes the right feeling that I want. It that did didn't occur to you. It did occur to me actually. I asked your permission before I used it. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Well, and now you... now now I sound like a jackass for <laughs> for. Uh, for just you, railing on this. You gave me a tutorial on how to use it, as a matter of fact. You were kind of proud that you'd made this thing that other people could use. Uh, you know, Which you is were, very rare for me, by yeah, the way. Well, you know, it was probably the first and last thing you ever made with other people in mind. You know, the uh, I, I, I liked that mine explosion a whole lot. And I actually stole that effect for use in Ratchet and Clank of your arsenal in the Nefarious fight. He's, oh really? He steal I stole that effect to be used in Doctor Nefarious in Ration Clank Up Your Arsenal. Yeah, that was uh, my that was my favorite boss fight ever too. <laughs> so that's that's like long term theft for me. That I, I keep things in mind that I want to steal later down the line. Someday in the ungiven future, I will steal this effect. That's uh, right. So I remember just now why why I had to code so much of this level. Uh, it was coming in really late. Ah. Uh, we were getting down to the wire, and it just wasn't done. Was this one of the last levels we had on the on the schedule? Uh, yeah, it was. It was, and and uh, you know, either that or it was like three deadlines before the final one. You know, and uh, and everyone, you know, Ted and 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 you know, everyone was rightly breathing down my neck because it wasn't done. And as a designer, even though you don't really have the power to do anything you are responsible for making sure that your levels get done right uh, and so since i had the ability i picked up the code and just you know uh chipped in to, to help finish it because i was on the hook for it man this one's tough oh that was close do you see what i'm doing wrong no not at all This must be fascinating watching it out in TV land. Fortunately, I have editing power, and uh, this will not make it onto the internet this way. There you go. Yeah, I did that in one shot. Can you believe that? Uh, elevator. <laughs> Least impressive elevator <laughs> ever. Oh, and it was just for a nanotech, huh? All right, well, we got a nanotech. Good for us. All right. Oh yeah. So uh, I this this was another level. Uh, this the, the combat in here that people pointed to uh, in terms of Ratchet and Clank, uh, you know, all-time classic setups. So uh, you're saying that you created an all-time classic setup? Is I no. just want to make sure that's what you just said. Uh, no, actually, I had nothing to do with it. Oh, okay. Uh, the, the I wired it up, but the uh, the enemy segments were designed by either Brian or Colin. I see. Because uh, I was still a junior designer at this point, and I think I might have one or two enemy segments in here, but in general, I was at a loss for how to design enemy segments. I was terrible at it. Uh, in in these games, for a long time, I was in charge of gadgets because uh, you know I just wasn't as good at this as, as other ones. I learned eventually, but... Uh, but yeah, no, this, I think I took a stab at designing this, and it was terrible. And then Colin <laughs> came in and told me what I was doing wrong, and, <laughs> you know, cleaned up my shit. Oh, look, that's not breakable. You can tell it was coming in last minute. Look at that mini turret. For, or, this, the mini rocket tube is an amazing gun, for sure. Yeah. Can I long jump over that? Yeah. Okay. You know, when I play this back, I will uh, uh, cut out the part where I asked you just so I don't look stupid. <laughs> oh, God. All right. I think since this one's critical path, it's not as hard. <laughs> 